Hey, we're back and we're gonna talk about some more uh, hat sizing and hat padding today. But before we do, I just thought I would uh, say that if you like the content I'm putting out there and you like what I'm doing, if you wanna see more of it, uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, join in the conversation of uh, Hat Life Adventures. Join the community. Uh, there's a lot of great people here and uh, we'd love to have you. All right, well, let's get started. This is the uh, Cooper Capricorn that I've been wearing and I do have some napkin in there. Just thought I'd show you what it looks like. I just put it right inside there like that. You just take the sweatband. I'm trying to go around the camera here to do this. This is why I look like I don't know what I'm doing. Put it in there like that and fold down the sweatband. There we go. All right. So that's the Capricorn. That's the padding I have in it. It's 58. A Stetson to show that it's not just a Cooper products that I do this with. It's all products. My Stetson, I have some ones in there. That way, in case I need to buy me a coat from a vending machine, I have me some ones. I have it lined the whole thing. <laughs> So there's probably $5 in this hat. My Tawny phone, which did not, has not seen near the amount of abuse that my first Fed 4 has seen in its lifetime. Um, because it hasn't seen near the amount of abuse, I do have padding in there. Let's see, I have it back there. I don't know if I have it up here. You can see that I have sweated in it though. See, it's got some discoloration in the liner. But yeah, so I just put it back there and it fits fine. My first Fed 4 has no padding, no padding at all. This thing fits like a second skin nowadays. It's just like a second skin. We have the broken skull. I gotta take out the liner. Look at this liner, this is a great liner. Look how soft this liner is. But you see, you can see up under the liner, but I'll show you. See, I've got it like, oh, that fell out. See, I've got padding lined all along it. Except for it right up front, my uh, forehead cuff points. So, <laughs> but you see my forehead. You see I have a lot of real estate on this forehead here. So when I sweat and I got a hat on, it just seals the hat to my head. I'm sure everybody does it. You know, old hat wearers know about this, but uh, the folks who aren't used to wearing a hat don't know about this. So it just seals to that head. This one is so, I mean, this is the only one that really acts like this. But it, uh, it comes and comes off and everything with ease. But, um, but my broken skull and my Advantage Harrison, put them on You see it fits like a glove. It's got that padding in there. Woo. You can tell it's hot out here and all shiny. Um, you can see it seals, it kind of sticks. So to take my hat off, but the, especially that Advantage Harrison, because it's a 57 and it fits like a glove. Um, it has not shrunk, but when, when I get hot or if I wear a hat for a long time, I think my head swells up sometimes, but it, it's a proper fitting hat. You sweat or your head swells up. It's going to give you a headache. That's not the head's fault. It's just what happens. Um, so to unlock it, I take it off. To unlock my hat, I take it off uh, with the back of the brim. And to put it on, there we go. Yeah. So yeah, I think that shaving my head has actually made all these hats fit tighter. Uh, I think the hair may have been not a lubricant, but a natural smooth surface for these hats to, you know, have a little wiggle room on. 
but my skin, which skin has oil, skin has sweat, skin has salt, you know, all that uh, makes your hat grip better. Grip, that's the word I was looking for, grip. Um, my hat has a lot of gripping space right here. It has a lot of grip space. It got a lot of grip. So there's the padding that I have for my hats. And, um, you know, my first Akubra, first Fed 4, I don't need any more padding in it. My Tawny Fawn that has seen a lot of casual use, not abuse like my first one that was a work hat. To be fair, it was a work hat. Um, this one, does it still needs some padding. And my Capricorn, which oddly enough, I wear it in the summertime, but it, uh, it still needs a little bit of padding. Anyway, um, so there you go. Try not to make these too long. That's why I kind of split it into two parts. And of course, I always kind of think, man, I should have said that, which is the case with this one. All right, well, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Until we see you again, God bless.